Like all great tragedies, this one started in high school. Veronica Mars, teenage detective. Sounds adorable, right? But solving my best friend's murder was about as removed from adorable as it gets. Dad told Jake Kane, the most powerful man in town, that he was sure he was somehow involved in his own daughter's death, and they removed him from office. Dad was right. The case doesn't add up. Stay away from that case. Does your dad still think that Lily's father did this? Do you have any idea how dangerous it is what you're doing? That family will do anything to make that evidence go away. Don't forget, you're a high school girl. Do some high school girl things now and then. Relax, Dad. I'm cutting pictures of Ashton out of teen people as we speak. And that brings us to Logan Eccles, my bad boy beau who once described our romance as epic, spanning years and continents, lives ruined, bloodshed. Dramatic? Maybe. True? Definitely. I hear you do detective stuff for people. I do favors for friends. Yeah. I can pay. Sit down, friends. They're all dead! The bus was sabotaged. Not only were those kids murdered, but the guilty party is still at large. Veronica, what are you doing in here? How many women like me have to be raped? Their heads shaved before this administration listens? I will find out who raped you. Why can't you for once just leave things alone? You're not invincible and you're not always right. Can you do me a weird favor without asking any questions? Isn't that the bedrock upon which our friendship was founded? <laughs> Veronica Mars is smarter than me. Stop it. Making friends and influencing people wherever she goes. What's out of jail? Hi! Think I've got a future in the biz? I think you've got a future as a highly paid, Ivy League-educated executive of some sort who never thinks about private investigation again in her perfect life. I spent my first 19 years trying to escape my hometown. Made it out. Then after a decade away, decided Neptune needed me, and I needed it. <laughs> 